this time next year, I'm going to be able to read. How hard is it to say that out loud? Very hard. Very, very hard. I've um, struggled all my life, um, been bullied. You know, it's just really made you feel horrible when you was younger. I mean, have you found strategies throughout your life to sort of pretend to people that you can read, you know, so that you... Oh, yeah, you, you just bluff. I've never been with my husband and his family for uh, meals because I can't read the, uh, the menu. I'm so oh, embarrassed. God. I don't really go out unless it's with my family mm. or my, my close friends, what do you know, I'm dyslexic and they help me. I, I've never been on the motorway on my own because I can't read the signs. Quite scary, oh, isn't it? it's scary. How long have you wanted to do it? All my life. All my life. I've got two beautiful grandchildren. I love them to bits. Mm. Um, just, and I just want to help them and them be proud of me. Plus, my eldest grandson, he's struggling, so help us to do it together. Do they know you, you can't read? Well, they don't. Well, me, uh, Ethan. Look, there they are. Ethan's only four, he's the cheeky one. Yes. Uh, Ethan, uh, Blake's the one more, he is struggling as well. Yeah. Um, they don't really understand it yet, but like, if they come to my house and they'll say to me, uh, Nana, what does this say? And I said, oh, that's your granddad. And I'd just be, yeah. able to s be able to sit down and say, come on, I'll read it to you. It would just mean the world if I could just read a book to my grandchildren. It would be better than winning the lottery. Have you found somebody that's going to help you? I have, yeah. I've got um, a teacher at college. He's going to learn me once, twice a week. Um, so once I've done that level, then I can look forward to going on to courses. So this is the year that's all going to yeah. change? Oh, definitely. There are two definitely. little people who really, really want you to learn to read. Yeah. And they actually may have written you a little note. Oh. And if you'd like, I'll read it to you. Yes, please. So it says to Nana Niece, we are so proud to have you as our Nana. You are the best and we can't wait for you to be able to read us a book. We love you, Blake and Ethan. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that so... Oh, it's lovely. Oh, I can't wait. I just cannot wait to be able to sit on outside of me and be able be able to read a book to them. I'm going to do it. Denise, by this it. time next, next year, year, you will be able to read. Good luck, oh, you. Thank you. Denise wants nothing more than to be able to read a book to her grandsons and I cannot wait to find out how her year has gone. Thank you. So tell me. I've done it. You, what? I can read. You can read? I can read. <laughs> I can read. So, so, mu so much to tell you. It's completely changed my life and I feel confidence in going out on my own, um, taking my grandchildren out without being scared of being stopped in the street saying, um, can you tell me where this reading is? Signs, reading signs, maps, maps everything, everything. Right? Even going It's at, freedom. Oh, it's freedom. I don't feel isolated anymore. I don't feel. I feel. I don't feel lonely. It's just, just absolutely amazing. It's been really, really hard. Well, let's have a look at your year. Up in the morning and out to school. After all these years, I've finally come back to college. I'm, I'm still struggling. I'm still on, on the basic words, but I've started putting words together. It's 
S U S U S U S U. It's going to be a tough year for Denise because she's got to learn in one year what a child would learn perhaps in five or six years. So I want you to go home tonight and I want you to read that 100 times. Now she's starting to really find it tough, but she's keeping going with it and that's what she needs to do. I know I'm getting better because, watch, I can do this. Just my tape, just my tape. Well, I can read some of it. Every single day I have a book in my hand, learning how to read at least one, two hours every single day. Pass the bag with the jam. She's working really hard. Um, she's spending time at college. I was sad. Good. She's got a book out reading. Jack's mum got a job. She's really, really putting all the hours she can into to learning how to read. Been to Asda uh, for the first time in my life on my own, doing a bit of shopping. Even when I'm watching the telly, my husband's deaf and he has the uh, subtitles on, so I can recognise the words, what's on the television, so that's like, ooh. Fair, fit, fair, fell, fit, fit. It's been a struggle, but it'll be worth it to all in the end. This is the first time in my life I've ever been into a boot shop. I'm going to buy Blake and Ethan a bedtime story. When I'm walking through the boot shops and I have a look at some of the titles, some of them I can read, um, it just feels amazing. I feel as though I've been blind and my eyesight's coming back a little bit at a time. Oh, this looks a bit too complicated for me. First class murder, but I can read the title and I wouldn't have been able to do that 10 months ago. Never in a million years did I thought this day would ever come. Yes, that's the one. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, bye. Go read Wizard of Oz, chapter one, the cyclo. Dorothy lived on a lonely farm in Kansas. One day, as they played outside, the sky grew dark. Then the wind whipped up. There's a cyclo coming. Sitting there reading them that story is amazing just to see the little faces. My Nana is the best reader ever. I am so glad to be home. The end. Love you, Nana. Oh, God. Did you enjoy that? Yeah. yeah. Good. She's done well, hasn't she, your Nana? You must be so proud of her. And what about you? I mean, it must be amazing to yeah. watch that progress, Leah. I'm proud of her. Yeah, I bet you are. Yeah. I bet she's non-stop now. You're like, please stop with the bedtime <laughs> stories. <laughs> every, time they, they, every time they come over this hour, I'll say to them, do you want a bedtime story? I'll read you another one. I've got another book. I've bought another this one. It feels so nice. Oh, it is. This time last year, when you came on, your grandkids had written you a letter and I read it to you. Mm -hmm. Well, they've written you a letter and I'd like you to read it to yeah. us, please. Look. <laughs> to Nana, thank you for working so hard to read so that you can read us bedtime stories. We're so proud of you. I can't wait for you to read us lots of lots more. Love you. Blake and Ethan. <laughs> Unbelievable. Isn't it? I'm just incredible. doing that. I know, I know. Is out of this world, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Every hour was worth, worth it to come on here and say, I've done it, I can read.